Different serologic markers are used to identify different phases of hepatitis B virus infection. Hi guys, my name is Dr. Asim and I'll discuss with you hepatitis B serology. Do watch this video till the end if you really want to gain an understanding of interpretation of these complex test results. So let's get started. To begin with, what you see on the screen is the hepatitis B surface antigen or HPS AG. Now it's a protein which is present on the surface of hepatitis B virus and the presence of HPS AG indicates current infection, whether acute or chronic. It appears after 1 to 10 weeks of an acute exposure and if it persists for more than 6 months, then it indicates a chronic infection. Now, as a body's immune mechanism, the body produces antibodies to HPS AG, that is anti-HPS. Now, anti-HPS persists for life and it indicates recovery from an infection. Now, one thing we need to keep in mind that HPS AG or hepatitis B surface antigen is also used in vaccination for making vaccines. So, a person who has received vaccination will also have antibodies to HPS AG, that is anti-HPS. Now, how do we differentiate between a person who has attained anti-HPS due to a recovery from an infection or a vaccination that we'll discuss shortly. Now, what you see on the inside is the hepatitis B core. The antibodies produced against this are anti-HPC or hepatitis B core antibodies. Now, as HPS, these hepatitis B core antibodies also persist for life and they either indicate an ongoing infection or a previous infection. IgM anti-HBC indicates a recent infection and IgG anti-HBC indicates a chronic infection. Now as we discussed that HPS AG or hepatitis B surface antigen is used in the manufacturing of vaccine. Therefore, it, the anti-HPS can be present in a vaccinated person or a person who has recovered from an infection. Whereas Keep in mind that hepatitis B core antigens are not used in making vaccines. Therefore, if the person has anti-HPC positive, so that will never be due to a vaccination, but always due to an infection or a recovery from an infection. So let's discuss interpretation of hepatitis B serology. So we'll take into consideration the three markers, that is HPS AG, anti-HPC and anti-HPS. Now in the first row you see that all the markers are negative. It means that the person has never gotten infection and has no antibodies. Therefore this person is susceptible to a hepatitis B infection. In the second row we see that only anti-HPS is positive which means that this person has gained this anti-HPS from a vaccination. In the third row, we see that both anti-HPC and anti-HPS are positive. It means that this person has gained immunity from an infection and not from a vaccination. Now in the fourth and fifth row, we see that HPS AG is positive. It means that the person is currently infected. Also anti-HPS is negative in both of these rows. It means that the person has an ongoing infection and has yet not attained immunity or recovery from an infection. In the fourth row, we see that IgM anti-HPC is positive, which signifies an acute infection. And in the fifth row, IgG anti-HPC is positive, which signifies a chronic infection. Thanks for watching guys. Please don't forget to visit Plavable's question bank to challenge yourself with some of the high yield questions on this topic. Also, please hit that like button. Thank you.